Hey everyone, it's Gary from Memory Motors, and today I'd like to introduce you to another one of our cars. This is Rody. Rody is a 1984 Oldsmobile Regency 98. Um, as you can see, Rody's in pretty good shape. You will notice that we don't try and wait for the nicest days to do our videos. We'll do them in the middle of a blizzard, because that's Canada. So, I apologize for some of the snow on the car. And again, you'll see some of the bottom. There is some dirt along these, but there's no real rust. I haven't really had a chance to clean this car up yet. It basically just came in. Um, one thing that is missing on both sides is the rear fender extensions behind the bumpers. So you will see those spaces on both sides. Definitely a problem there. Um, some rust as well. A little bit of buildup there on the back bumpers, but it's not really bad. I'm pretty sure most of that would polish off. Going around the trunk. Trunk's in good shape. There's a few spots where just some minor imperfections in the paint, but uh, by and large, everything's still in really good shape. Rest of the bumper, one small problem with the rubber bumper extension there has been hit at some point. Again, the extension's missing as well. Going down this side, you can see all solid outside. Again, I apologize, the car should be cleaner. It would probably show better if it was, but it's really hard to keep the cars clean uh, with the weather we've been having around here lately. Vinyl top is in really good shape. Recently replaced. No cracks or tears. Everything's still really good and solid there. Going around the front of the vehicle, you'll see that there's some paint chips on the hood. That's about the probably the worst area paint-wise, is just on the hood itself there and along the front, a couple across the front cowl, but nothing really major. Really a good looking car. Okay everyone, now we're gonna do a cold start with Rody. I like to show people what it's like to try and get these old cars going when it's cold, just so there's no false impressions of what they're like to get going when it's extremely cold out. So here we go. There you go. It's been sitting for about a week now. Um, so it's definitely a little bit cold, that's for sure. And it's cold out here today as well. Um, just to give you a bit of a heads up on the mileage, we'll try and get a little closer so you can get a better look at that. Should show you 80,468 there. Also, while we're looking around in the interior, um, does have a steering wheel cover on it. Um, we do have another dash panel for this car, so if you want to switch back to the original radio, but it does have a Panasonic stereo in it now, which works fine. Uh, no issues with it, but if you want to put the original radio back in, we have it. Rear defrost, air conditioning, everything works. All your power windows work. Interior's in really good shape. Headliner was replaced recently, um, and the roof was replaced recently as well, but you probably already saw that on the previous video. Okay, as you can see, we just fired it up a couple minutes ago, so it's still cold, so it's on the high idle. Runs really well, no real issues with the way it performs everything. Transmission shifts well, everything works as you would expect it to drive the car. Air conditioning does work as well. Uh, as you can see, the accumulator is fairly new on this vehicle. In decent shape. Battery is also recently replaced. Car runs and drives very, very well. Love to show you a driving video, but unfortunately with this weather, just not a good idea at this time. Okay, take a look at the interior now. As you can see, driver's seats, upholstery, all in really good shape. No tears, no rips, no wear. Uh, that's the remote for the stereo sitting on the seat there. Door panels are all in good shape. Dash itself is in good shape. No cracking, which is unusual for cars. But this age, typically everything cracks. You can see that the uh, the roof liner, as I said, been replaced. It's in really good shape. Now we'll just go around into the back here. <laughs> Welcome to the snow. Again, no torn map pockets. All the upholstery along the back is good. Carpet's in good shape. Back deck is in good shape. Little bit of a tear here at the armrest where it folds down. 
But uh, yeah, other than that, everything is as you would expect it to be. A little bit of gap there on the seat on the passenger side. We're going to tighten that up. I think the seats just come out of there as they were doing some of the cleaning. Let you take a look at the rockers as well while we've got the doors open. And again, that's all undercoating under there. Um, no rust. Just a little bit of surface along the bottom there, you can see. No real issues. That's the driver's front door. Driver's rear door again, that's undercoating. There's a little bit of rust on the dog leg there, you can see, uh, as well as a tiny bit on the D pillar. But most of that, what you're looking at there is oil spray. Looking at it again from the passenger side, just some oil down there. Everything's in really good shape on the bottoms of the doors. Again, just oil, no major issues there. Power seats function, everything fit there. Again, we just got to hook this back seat back in. It's just sitting there loose right now, but uh, that's not a big deal. Door panels, again, everything's in really good shape. No issues there at all. Overall, a very clean example of Grandpa's old car, so to speak. But definitely would uh, definitely would be nice to drive on on a better day than today. That's for sure. So if you have any questions about Roadie at all, please feel free to contact us at memorymotors.ca at aol.com, or you can contact us directly through the website. Roadie will be sold certified. And it basically needs nothing to pass the safety inspection, so he's basically good to go. So we hope to hear from you soon, and thanks for watching.